What is up, fishing fam? Welcome to another episode of Luke Burnett Fishing. As always, I'm your host, Luke Burnett. And today, we're going to be learning the tips of riprap bank fishing. So, whenever I fish riprap banks, I have four things I usually do. The first one is I make sure I'm fishing in the right direction. Now, a lot of people are like fishing in the right direction. Like, what does that mean? I didn't know there was a right direction to fish. Fishing in the right direction is more for bodies of water that have a current, like rivers or streams. So, if you have a body of water that has a current near you, you're going to want to make sure that you're casting your bait downstream from the current. So that way, as you're bringing your bait back up the current, your bait is coming right in front of that fish's face because they face downstream. I just lost a very sharp hook in my garage. Okay, whatever. I'll find it later. All right, the second thing you want to do, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get deflection. Deflection maximizes your bite because you're coming in contact with all the rocks and with all the trees and stumps that are down in the water below you. Now, to deflect off the rocks of a riprap bank, you're going to want to use a jig, a hard bait, or maybe even a soft plastic. Because they deflect off those rocks so well, it looks exactly like a lifelike bait. The third thing you're, wanting, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a jig. And I know I just talked about this in the last tip, but jig fishing is so good. Just so good. You can fish them shallow. You can fish them deep. You can fish jigs anywhere. So, what you're going to want to do if you want to fish a jig, I'd recommend this Buckeye Lures Flat Top Finesse Jig with a net bait pack a slim trailer on the back. If you want to use a hard bait, it's up to you. I would use this Lucky Craft USA LV300. This is Pearl Threadfin Shad. And if you want to use a soft plastic, I would use an Elite Catch Bait Carnage Craw. Right there. That's pine. If you want to pick up some of these, Leave that in the link description below. But back to jig fishing. Jig fishing maximizes your bite whenever you're fishing your riprap bank. Because the, the bait that is around a riprap bank is usually craws, maybe some small bait fish. And what jigs do is they emulate craws. So as when that fish sees your bait bouncing around down there, it automatic it's automatically thinking crawl. Perfect meal for me. Okay. The fourth tip is you're gonna want to focus on changes, be thorough, and you're gonna want to come back again. That's actually three tips in one. So be thorough. Every time you cast your bait through the water, it takes a different route through those rocks. So don't be afraid to cast your bait out there a couple times and like a couple times in the same direction to make sure you really maximize your potential, the potential of that area. The second thing you're going to want to do is come back again. So you're going to want to re-fish re the strips of riprap that you've already fished because fish move in all different directions up and down the riprap. They're moving on, their, their movement is based on a couple things. The movement of the bait, the current, and that's about it. So if you find the bait in a riprap bank, you find the fish. Now the third thing is you're going to want to focus on changes. Now changes in a riprap bank are big, are like changes in rock sizes. So big rocks to little rocks, small rocks to big rocks. Or maybe even some laydowns there. Or look for overhangs and bridges or just overhangs in general. Anywhere where those fish might be stacked up is where you want to be. All right, guys, that's all for tips of riprap bank fishing. And I know I haven't posted a video in a while. This is the first one I've posted in a while. There's a new video coming out, the MTV Slam. That'll be, that should be out right after this one. So be looking out for that. Keep fishing. Never stop. Start it. Started from the bottom